Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Saturday, so it's another grocery haul day. This week I did Walmart grocery pickup. I have lots of good things to share with you as well as what is on my menu for dinners for the week and some really good recipes you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you just want to chat with me directly. So check out my nutrition coaching website. Links, discounts to all my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group are also down in that description box. Head over and join us. We have a big challenge coming up starting July 1st that we would love to have you take part of. So let's jump into this week's WW Grocery Haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I did Walmart grocery pickup and then I ended up having to go to Fred Meyer or Kroger for one out of stock item at Walmart and then I decided to pick up my favorite cottage cheese while I was there since Walmart doesn't carry it. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. The first thing I picked up was this three drawer plastic set. I wanted this for in the closet in my office just to store my camera gear and make my closet a little bit more organized. I ordered the brown one. They didn't have it. They substituted for the gray one which ironically was a couple dollars less which I didn't really care what it looked like because it's going in the closet. We were out of hangers so I grabbed a big pack of black hangers. This is my favorite pledge because it has this moisturizing oil so it makes your furniture really shiny but it also moisturizes the wood and Walmart is one of the only places that I can find this so I went ahead and added it to my cart and then I was completely out of parchment paper so I picked up the Great Value Nonstick Parchment. I love this for cooking. It just makes cleanup so easy. Buddy, Say hi to everyone. See, my mama going to give you an update on me on Wednesday and know what I eat in a day. Right, bud? For my meal prep this week, I needed a graham cracker pie crust. So the great value one had lower calories than the name brand. So I picked that one up. Three cans of corn. I need corn for a dinner recipe that I'm actually really excited about. You can use corn on the cob, frozen corn or canned corn. For me, canned corn is easier, so I ended up picking up three cans for that recipe. This is the first time I've bought cochita cheese or queso cheese. I wasn't sure if it came in a brick or grated, and I need this for that same recipe that I needed the corn for. I'm completely out of paprika, so I ordered the Great Value one, and they were out, so they substituted for the name brand. I think I paid 98 cents for this, so that was a huge substitution win for me. I needed eggs because we have, I think, three or four left, and Troy's had going to have egg salad sandwiches this week for lunch. For his sandwiches, I got the sour dough bread from Great Value. This bread is so good and extremely affordable. One third less fat cream cheese. I need this for a recipe. The Daisy Low Fat Cottage Cheese for Palmer. I've mentioned in my last few grocery hauls that we add a little bit of this to his food to help with calcium for his ears and his bones. And this is my favorite cottage cheese. So while I was at Fred Meyer, I picked up my Good Culture Low Fat Cottage cheese. I wanted the full fat, but they were out. So I actually picked up three of these. As you can see, I have quite the stat going here because this is a great way to get in protein and it's super low calorie. And I really think this is the best brand of cottage cheese. Teriyaki sauce for a, a dinner recipe. And I scoured the nutritional information of the teriyaki sauce options at Walmart. And this one had about the same amount of calories. And this one, I remember being really good this brand. So I decided to pick up the Yoshito's original gourmet teriyaki. Walmart was out of sugar-free pudding, so I decided to pick up the banana from Kroger. This is for a recipe in meal prep. I wanted the coconut pudding. They didn't have it, so I ended up getting the banana. A pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. I need two pounds for recipes this week, and I only have one pound in my freezer. Ground chicken, also for a dinner recipe. The Oscar Mayer center cut bacon. If I'd have known I was going to Fred Meyer, 
or Kroger. I love their private selection brand. It's way less points and calories, but I didn't know I was going there. So I ended up picking up the Oscar Mayer Center Cut from Walmart. Light Cool Whip, this is for my meal prep for my dessert recipe. I wanted the bag of Kid Fresh Nuggets. I know Kroger sells Kid Fresh and they were out of the bag. And I found this little box, which was interesting. It was only $3.99 and it has two and a half servings in it, which is a pretty good price because the bag is over $7. So I'm not sure compared to the bag how much of a savings this is, but this is all they had. And you guys know I love this on salads and in my chicken wrap. And of course, since I was at Walmart, my kombucha, I did pick up the six pack of Synergy in Watermelon Wonder, Golden Pineapple, and Guava Goddess. I wanted some ice cream this week. So in my Walmart pickup, I picked up the Yasso coffee chocolate chip. This is one of my very, very favorite Yasso bars. I also ordered some Skinny Cow and they were out of stock at Walmart. So while I was at Fred Meyer Kroger, I picked up these Diana's Milk Chocolate Banana Babies. So these sound really good. It's just chocolate dipped frozen bananas. Some little tiny baby potatoes. I have a recipe that called specifically for baby potatoes. So I picked those up and everything else is produce. So I needed some grape tomatoes, fresh rosemary, limes, both for my corn kojita cheese recipe, as well as my waters, a green bell pepper, and a red onion. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. What's not shown is a case of Diet Coke and a case of Coors Light. So let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners this week, as well as the exciting recipes you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So here is this week's menu plan, the week of 612 through 618. Today, Saturday, we always, always go out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making the Mexican street corn salad. So you guys will actually see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. This is the recipe that I needed the corn in the Kojita cheese for. I'm really excited for this. Monday is going to be chicken and broccoli Alfredo. Tuesday's leftovers, I'm going to try my hardest to go to Jazzercise Tuesday night. Wednesday, I'm doing a teriyaki beef and rice dinner, which sounds really good. It's a one pot dinner, so it should be quick and easy. Thursday is rosemary garlic steak kebabs. Troy's off on Thursday, so I thought that we could barbecue. And then Friday is a leftover night because we try to eat up everything leftover from earlier in in the week. So here's what you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making cheesy potatoes with bacon. This is going to be just a decadent, delicious breakfast. Lunch is going to be creamy buffalo chicken meatballs. Now I've made buffalo meatballs in the past and you guys love that recipe, but this one's a bit different and I'm pretty excited about it. And then for dessert, originally I was going to make coconut cream pie, but I cannot find coconut pudding regular or sugar-free anywhere. So I'm going to make banana cream pie instead. I'm really excited for this recipe. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up for the week, my recipes I have planned, and of course, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out these grocery hauls every single Saturday. Also, if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, you know I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Again, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget about my Facebook group. Head on over and join us for all the upcoming challenges over the next few months. So happy Saturday, friends. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.